just quickly wanted to run through a few points to use with a newborn baby. Um, and these points can be used with a newborn baby up until sort of that six month mark, um, however long they stay still for you essentially. Um, I have my little baby here um, and I will move him around to just do some points. But these, this is just switching points. So essentially with your switching points in the baby is you're kind of calibrating the brain um, to the nervous system to actually fall and land in the body. So really sort of telling the brain that, you know, the fingertips are where the fingertips are um, and that it needs to communicate from the brain through the nervous system out to the extension um, and the biofeedback that, that it gets uh, from touch and all sorts of different um, stimulants within the environment. So little switching points are especially good when your baby is a little bit um, I would say twitchy or a little bit switchy and just feeling a little bit either overstimulated or overtired would be the expressions that lots of people use when they're just a little bit sort of twitchy. And all you're doing is going to run through the normal top, bottom, left, right, front, back switching points and then run a CV, but you're just doing it on a smaller scale. So with all of the switching points, you're holding the belly button and we do it on both sides. So we're just sort of holding the belly button nice and light and we'll use two fingers on the top and a thumb and you're just rubbing the top and the bottom lip. And I'll show you little pictures on the side here um, so that you can see. And then swapping over and making sure that you've got some really good eye contact here and really engaging with the baby. The next one you're going to do is the collarbone points and these are just under the two soft bits underneath the collarbone. So you're really looking for where the collarbone lies. And again, you're using your thumb on one side and two fingers on the other. And you're just holding the belly button and then swapping over and giving them a little bit of a rub. The next one you're doing is the sacrum. And this can be really, this can be quite good if the, especially if the baby is a little bit tight um, through the hips and through the shoulders and through the jaw, might only be feeding really on one side. And you're just again holding the belly button again, but you're rubbing up and down. Uh, where the where the sacrum would be so essentially you're here and then you're using the tailbone and you're rubbing and this is just your front and back so they've got the connection on the front and then the sensation on the back and you're just swapping that over and then the next one what we're doing is we're going to sort of wipe away the central vessel so your your central vessel is your the first meridian which receives all the energy and it runs from sort of your um, pelvic, um, your pelvic floor, it's actually um, quite, quite low all the way up to your chin or just underneath your bottom lip. So if you were a person, you would be rubbing out your line as such, and then you're just doing what I like to refer as an energetic zip up, but you're doing the same with the baby. So you're just zipping up and I like to touch and have a little bit of a wiggle here. It's a bit of a sensation, zip up, little wiggle, zip up, a little wiggle, zip up, a little wiggle. So that's gone through, so we've done our top bottom switching, our left and right switching and our front and back switching and our, our central vessel or our, our zip up with the baby. So that's our core aspect. And then the next little thing that we're going to do to just then sort of recalibrate is a little bit of cross crawl activities. So this here, you would encourage the grasp reflex with the hand. So um, rubbing your thumbs up the forearm and allowing the baby to grab hold of it. And you might just give a little bit of a sensation and allow the muscles to tick in, making sure that you're not actually pulling in through the neck. And you just wanna have that tight, firm hand grip with there. And then you're gonna take the hands out and then you're just crossing them on either side. So you're bringing them across and you're sending them across the midline. Okay, so the arms are coming out and sort of that sort of hug kind of aspect and you're crossing from top to bottom always. From there, keeping the hands within your hands, you're just then coming to the bottom of your foot and I would just give your bottom, your kidney one point, which is the bottom of the baby's foot. So I sort of cover a nice big area there and you're giving it a nice big juicy rub and you're still holding the opposite hand. So we've got our hand and our opposite foot and then we're just going to bring that in and down and having a little bit of a play, making sure that it's meeting at the midline. Not only is it meeting at the midline here that the foot is coming up, but you're actually doing your top and bottom crossing over midline as well. So you're coming out on a diagonal and you're just having a little bit of a movement here. 
And then again, you're going to repeat the same nice big juicy movement while you're holding onto the hand, getting that um, K1 underneath. And that's really sort of an anchoring grounding point. And then you're doing the same thing, your hand in and to your hand extend. So having that aspect. Because we've just been working the midlines and we're doing a little bit of a calm from that position there, I would actually just be finishing it and rolling the baby over for a little bit of tummy time. And I'm just then doing some nice big long crossing movements over the body. So I'm standing at the hand while the baby's on tummy time and bringing it and really sort of coming down the back. And that is your bladder meridian. Um, and you're sort of just allowing that nice big cross movement here. Okay, it's always good to just finish with a little bit of a wiggle through the hips, you know, a little bit of a massage. It's really sort of tight there. The baby's not moving much and a little bit of a tight a little massage and a bit of a play around the shoulder area as well as they sort of come up. And from there you're coming back on and then that would be where I would be swaddling the baby up tight and then starting to think about doing some nice calming activities with that. 